G'day viewers, Troy from Troy's Digital Arts channel. Today I've been uh, shooting some really old Polaroid. I've just recently inherited a uh, vintage Polaroid 340 land camera. I was, it was given to me from the uh, Dapto Camera Club. And uh, yeah, I saw on eBay not too long after an auction for three packs of uh, vintage black and white Polaroid, uh, 107 type film that has an expiry date of uh, January 1979. So this pack would have been probably manufactured around 1978, maybe 1977, I'm not sure. But anyway, I thought I'd buy those three packets and uh, give, it a, give it a go. So here I've been taking photographs, um, doing, this is pretty much a test pack of the uh, Port Kembla anti-tank pyramids that were used in World War II to prevent uh, Japanese tanks from coming on shore. And then there's this uh, sculpture over there that looks like a grenade. Well, anyhow, yeah, this is pretty much a test uh, pack to work out how to expose this film because I've got two packs of this yet to shoot. Well, yeah, on my first shootings, I I used uh, the 75 setting. Um, I set to out. Um, I'm pretty new to this Polaroid. I set to this setting here, um, outdoors and all that. And um, yeah, I set to 75 for overexposure because with old film, you've got to go overexpose it. And uh, yeah, I took my shots. And I pulled the uh, yeah, pulled pulled the Polaroids out and uh, waited about fifth, about 15 to 30 seconds for them to develop on the first few shots that actually did turn out. Uh, about three of the exposures were actually duds; the chemicals dried up. But anyhow, so I was getting these faint images of of the pyramids, which is a good start. I mean, I was having pretty much very little expectations, but I do know that old Polaroid film from the 70s can work. So, I was disappointed they were very faint, but that's because I didn't leave, I had to, because of the uh, chemicals are so old, I had to let it develop for a lot longer, I've learnt on uh, my later shots, which is of that grenade-like sculpture. So this one here, um, these two shots here actually did yield a clear image. Um, sadly, the chemicals didn't didn't spread ni as nicely as these shots, but heck, I do see that uh, grenade-like sculpture. So this one here, I set the speed to uh, 3000, which was its original box speed. Of course, it is uh, very underexposed, but, but you still see the... Uh, silhouette of the uh, grenade sculpture and it's very clear I let I uh, waited five minutes for for the for these exposures to develop and uh, yeah I now worked out the formula on shooting the rest of the two packs so the uh, the second shot of the uh, grenade sculpture um, I set it to 75 and we can now see we can now see the uh, the gray scales of the uh, sculpture so that is, uh, to my to my personal standards, nicely exposed. So I've now worked out for the next two packets. I set the film speed to 75 for overexposure to compensate for the age of the film, and and um, when I when I pull the uh, Polaroid out, let it develop for about five minutes, and I should get images like these. Oh yeah, I'm really happy that I've gotten images of sorts on, the, on this uh, first test, first pack of Polaroid. So, oh yeah, another thing too to mention. Um, yeah, when I was when I peeled the uh, Polaroid open, um, the the exposures open, um, the the uh, developing uh, it was like a coating, uh, some kind of coating over it, which was um, very you know, taffy and um, sticky and all that. Because I'm new to this, I don't know if I was meant to stay on there, but I decided to to um, wipe it off with wet wipes because it 
it was uh, it's just sticky and it was uh, <laughs> looking pretty yucky. But anyhow, after wiping it off, you know, you get decent pictures, so I guess they're meant to come off. But because this is so old, you know, it, it's it's not going to work. It, the developing's not going to work as reliably. So it's just and the uh, and the the remnants are going to stick to the image and all that. Don't know if the wet wipe's going to wreck the images in the long run, but yeah, well, it's the best the best thing I can do to just get that sticky crap off. But anyhow, I'm really happy I've got images. I've got, so yeah, <laughs> three dud exposures, chemicals dried up, three exposures underdeveloped but correctly exposed for this old film, and two exposures, one underexposed and one correctly exposed, and both correctly developed. I'm pretty happy with the results of this of this uh, test roll. So yeah, I'm gonna. So yeah, the next two packs I'll be shooting some pretty decent images on the on the uh, on the exposures that actually do work. All right, well, stay tuned for my next video when I shoot my next packet, which I'll be you know, going around and properly shooting subjects. So yeah, this is a test roll, and I now know what now know what to do with the film. All right, stay tuned for my next video. This is Troy from Troy's Visual Arts Channel signing out.